know none of this. They climb up a stairway beneath the vaulted ceiling of the Grand Gallery, and before turning back, take a brief moment inside the King's Chamber to contemplate the rectangular structure carved out of a solid piece of pink granite. The King's Chamber, or the Pharaoh's Chamber as it is sometimes called, is the main area of the Great Pyramid. Inside it stands the famous sarcophagus of the Great Pyramid. It fills some with fear, others with mystical reverence. But nobody can clearly say what it really is. A tomb, a resting place, or possibly a place of rebirth. There is no surviving evidence that a pharaoh ever lay in this sarcophagus. But neither is there any concrete proof that the pyramid might have been built for some other purposes, like occult ceremonies, for example. However, the design of the king's chamber, or more precisely, of the area above it, leaves no doubt that more attention was paid to the acoustics here than might first meet the eye. Above the ceiling, there are several so-called relieving chambers, partitions made out of granite plates, separated from each other by spaces measuring about a meter and a half each, five times in a row. This complex ceiling is topped by a vaulted granite roof. These chambers were discovered by the German Colonel Weiss in the 19th century. Weiss used dynamite to access the space between the partitions, and this forever damaged the original acoustic qualities of this most famous area of the Great Pyramid. Robert Schock, a professor of geology from Boston University, has been studying the Great Pyramid and the Giza Plateau for the last 20 years. Shock 